Deepin High School today played host to students from Thomas Mills, Holy Wells, Farlingay and Orwell High Schools for the Holocaust Memorial Day, which takes place on the 27th of January. Deepin sixth formers exhibited artwork and performed a piece of drama and dance that they had created. The theme of Holocaust Memorial Day this year is uh, remember, reflect, imagine and react. And uh, it's very important, probably the most important part of all that is, is the reaction, how we react, how we can educate the young people. Uh, today and, and to make sure that the, the arguments of uh, the, uh, these insidious Holocaust deniers are, are undermined and, and demolished uh, at every single opportunity. The pupils have been uh, focusing on the story of a Holocaust survivor, Mr Frank Bright, who uh, fortunately lives locally, uh, who uh, survived Auschwitz and survived the Nazi labour camp and who uh, has been working very hard to ensure that his story gets across uh, to as many people as possible at the moment. So we, we want the kids to actually learn, do some research. Uh, we've got a lot of gifted and talented kids here from different Suffolk schools to research that and uh, to use this as a basis for uh, the, the teaching of the Holocaust in Suffolk uh, history departments in future years. Frank has researched and traced what happened to most of his school friends from Prague, shown on this photograph in 1942. Each student today represented one of those in the photo. They would have been about the same age. The students moved to different areas of the floor, each representing a different ghetto, labour camp or concentration camp. As they died, they sat down. Some individuals from the ghetto, who had been in Frank's class, were sent, many on cattle trucks, all the way across Eastern Europe to destinations like Treblinka, Latvia and Minsk. Either out of battle, they were sent to Baranovetska near Minsk in the Soviet Union on the 28th of July 1942 on transport AAY. This was a transport of 1,000 people. None survived. You were either chosen to be sent straight away to the gas chambers or you were chosen to stay late. Now, the individuals still standing were individuals who were chosen to stay late. Students were reminded that history is not the story of strangers, aliens from another realm. It is the story of us, had we been born a little earlier.
Sorry about that. Your Jewish kids run around like lice. We've been given orders to um, liquidate them. You know, destroy them. Everything seems in order. You may go. Mom? Yes? Mom? Yes? Somebody's standing on my foot. Oh, move this way a bit. I can't move! Oh, Amy, stop whinging! Mom? Yes? Put me in the toilet. Well, the bucket's on the other end of the train. You have to make your own way there. over there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Amy, stop sitting on my foot! Amy! There are tall chimneys. Or with smoke coming out. It's not horrible. Like, when my mum used to burn chicken in the oven. I went to the right. My mother and my two sisters went to the left. I never saw them again. Each moment of life is precious. Each precious moment is packed with the hope that there will be more precious moments. You tell yourself there is always hope. Until the moments that I walk. Raw potatoes like on me in an ambulance. So as not to arouse suspicion. There are four great halls. Look like shower installations. We can fit two, two and a half thousand people inside. And when it's full, we slam the doors tight, shut. I climb the ladder onto the roof, open the hatch, and pour the tin of light from B into the chamber. The crystals dissolved in the air. Prosecuted. <laughs> 